Welcome back to episode three on the Candyman custom sign. You've seen at the beginning of the video, I was projecting artwork up. So I'll give you a little pan around and show you what I've done. Now I left you off in the last episode, we dropped a high build on the aluminium lion head. Now I went in first thing this morning and just knocked this back with 800 grit, just to smooth it out a bit. And then I put some application tape. This is like transfer paper, which you, is a low tack and it's paper side, it's for transferring graphics in the sign industry. Now you can pencil on this really nice, put a piece of that over there, projected the lines head up, and then penciled round all the silhouette parts. So we've got the image here, peeled that off the lion's head, put that to one side, and now we can move on to the aluminium side of the lion head. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is clean that down with wax and grease remover, and then I've got some Lamborghini pearl white, so I'm gonna drop two or three coats of pearl white over the line head. Let that go off. Then we can lift this up, move it across and locate it onto the lion's head. And then we can cut out really carefully on top of this with a scalpel, cut out all the silhouette parts. So all these little silhouette parts here, you'll take out and you'll leave the opposite bit on this piece here. Then we can go in with the airbrush and I've got some really nice black metallic base coat. So we're going to drop some specialist paints, black metallic base for the silhouette part of the lion's head. Once that's gone off, I'm then going to get the airbrush and drop some chroma coat flamingo. Now that's a color changing paint. If you've ever seen a TBR, how it flips the color from like purple, green, gold, it flips it in the sunlight. We're going to drop flamingo color flip on the edges of the mane coming round, a bit round the nose part here, and a little bit in the eyes, and at the top of the mane here. So when you walk around this and it's located, and you look at it at different angles, it will flip colors. So you have the color flip on that, and then you'll have the ground metal effect, which will be twisting and moving around in the light on this piece. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna move on to the lion's head first, get all this done in time lapses. I'll talk you through the little bits at the end when we've got this complete. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna clear coat this, cause I've got some Capsi 6030 HS clear now. So I'm gonna clear coat that and then clear coat that to finish. And then episode four, we can move back onto this once this is dry, start prepping the clear coat up on this. And then we can start adding the artwork, the spray guns, the logo, onto that and then re-clear coat that, let that go off. Then we can start locating the battening for the lion's head, all the LEDs to be mounted, drilled through and all sort of located. So there's quite a bit to do still, but we're pressing on. So enjoy the video, enjoy the time-lapse and enjoy the music and I'll see you at the end of the lion's head.
the lion head done, you've seen me drop the black base coat down, we cut all the mask out. Go nice and light. If you're putting one layer of application tape on aluminium or a gas tank or a bonnet, and you've got your penciled outline on it, just go really light with your scalpel. You've not got to press down hard. If you start to press down hard, you'll feel your blade moving because it's on a real hard surface underneath. So nice and light. We cut the lion head out. Then I went in with metallic black, dusted round, sort of fogged up, built the layers up, and then I went in with the chroma coat. Now, the chroma coat, you can sort of see it, it looks better when it's clear coated. I'll give you a little pan round and you can see for yourself. So the lion head's in. Now, hopefully that's picking that up with the chroma coat. You'll just see it sort of change color on the mane of the lion, on the lion head but it really stands out once it's got clear coat on it. So it's gone down really nice, black base coat, and then you've got your pearl on the white, and then the chroma coat just faded in up the sides of the mane, a bit round the eyes to finish it off. So the next stage on this is to clean them both down, and these two are good for clear coat. So we're getting there guys, the lion head's done. Looking really cool. So we'll move on to the clear coat, I'll get some capsi mixed up, get all set up and we'll clear coat it. We've got the clear coat stage down on the first piece on the blue bit, because that's going to be flatted down once that's dried off, then we can work the artwork. The lion's head's finished. We've got a couple of dirt nibs to take out in the lion's head, but that's going to be flat and polished anyway. So I'll give you a little pan round and show you the finished results. The blue piece, now it's got some clear on, it's looking really nice. You get the depth of the candy now. And this is going to be two more coats of clear on this. This will just be flatted off on this one, artwork, and then re-clear coated again. So look, it'll look a lot deeper once it's done. But just a seal coat of clear on that, so I can work off. And then you've got the lion's head, clear coated up, we've got some dirt nibs in it. You're gonna get dirt nibs on the flats, and especially in here. Now it's sort of really warmed up, there's a lot of dust in the air, but we can get this one flatted down, polished up, 10 minutes done. So there's two pieces done. All nicely cleared up. So that's it for today's video. We've got the lion's head artwork sorted out and clear coated and we've got the two coats of clear on the ground aluminium candy blue in part four we're going to move on to the ground aluminium side we'll flat that back we'll flat the lion's head back as well in that process we'll start the spray guns we'll get them in and we'll get the logo in and then we'll be re-clear coating the blue aluminium so i hope you enjoyed it don't forget if you're new to the channel click that subscribe press that notification drop over to candy man's channel if you don't know candy man have a look at his channel, does some really cool stuff. Hit his subscribe as well and give him some likes. And I'll see you in part four. Cheers, guys. <laughs>